Hey, Paul, it's good to be here. Um, my name is John Ahn, and um, I started out in the short-term industry with a short-term um, property management company. So I have a company called Ohana Stay that's in Honolulu, Hawaii. Out of that, I built uh, my second venture, my next venture, Tech Tape. And Tech Tape is a technology service company. And so we take existing solutions that are out in the industry and we kind of help people use that very effectively. Um, so those are my business ventures. And then the third thing is um, because of regulations in Hawaii especially, um, I actually had to have a job of trying to coordinate the uh, regulatory fights. Yeah, so tech tape, like I said, we take existing tools and we help people use it. So um, there are two specific pain points that we try to address. One is revenue management. And so just using the software, Price Labs, Real House Beyond, is not revenue management. So we provide revenue management services so that people can make more money. The second pain point is there's a lot of technology in the short-term rental industry and it's very fragmented. Um, and so what Tech Tape does is if, if a property manager's tech stack is working reasonably well, but there are two, three pain points, we're able to build out semi-customized solutions that sit parallel to your existing tech stack to solve those very, uh, very specific pain points. Yeah, so it's obviously, you know, some thought, you know, that myself and, you know, Francois uh, were having, but um, everything in the short-term rental industry seems to be fragmented. And um, on the one hand, that's a good thing because there's a lot of innovation, lots of options, lots of solutions. And because every property management company was built from the ground up, in other words, there's no uh, university course on short-term rentals, every company operates differently. And so you need that innovation because one solution cannot fit everyone's, uh, you know, everyone's needs. And in fact, when you switch technologies, oftentimes you fix one and break everything else that's uh, behind. So, and then people hate logging into multiple platforms. So there are multiple ways that this, you know, this, uh, I call it defragmentation of the tech space can happen. Um, one would be basically mergers and acquisition, consolidation, and you know, big companies gobble up smaller companies and create one solution that has everything um, in one, one package. And the challenge with that is then it becomes basically one product and that one company says this is the only way that you solve this feature and yet all the companies are operating separately. So, it solves it in one way, but then it creates more problems or more pain points. And then so then we look at um, a lot of companies have uh, marketplaces. And so marketplaces actually help, kind of, I guess, funnel down a little bit the options that uh, property managers have. But again, there might be competing options and you know which one's right for my company, which one's not right. Um, there's white labeling where a company decides to really use the, you know, the technology of another company and integrate it very tightly, but then the options become very, um, you know, determined by, the, by that company. And then there's kind of semi-customized builds where you take the ex existing products and help them talk to each other. And not any one of them is the right solution, but those are kind of some form of those four is kind of the direction that I think the industry needs to do now and then moving forward. Everything that I speak about in Hawaii, it's, it's actually very similar to any other market, whether it's in the United States or in, you know, in Europe. Um, first of all, I, I feel like it's a pendulum right now, pendulum swinging. And so for the longest time, there was very little regulation. And so anyone could do anything. And so there's kind of a backlash right now in regulatory uh, push. Um, and so now 
there's a lot of response, either lobbying, lawsuits, uh, advocacy efforts that's starting to push back. And so I'm seeing it, you know, going back and forth. In Hawaii earlier this year, we had um, a bill that basically was trying to have enable the government to take your property within 30 days if you're running a short-term rental illegally. Um, and so we got a lot of people to come and, um, and testify, and we were able to at least push that back a little. And out of that, we've created a statewide organization, because before it was always local county. And so we're trying to create a sustainable advocacy organization at the state level so that we're not always playing defense but then we could start influencing future bills and have a voice and have a seat at the table. Uh, and so I'm very excited that we have a state level organization and that's something that, uh, it's not a company, but it's turning out to be partly a job, a part-time job. So Book Direct, um, that's an area that I actually need to learn a lot more about or get better at. I, you know, about 10% of my bookings come from direct bookings. I need to increase that uh, a lot more. Scale rentals, um, partly there are areas that I have expertise that I've presented in in the United States, and I wanted to share that, uh, you know, in Europe. And then just meeting a lot of the, my European colleagues uh, out here.